In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, we ask you to be with us as we remember our loved ones. Today we remember all the people whose names are on our tree of remembrance. We thank you for the gift of their lives, and we place them safely in your care. We pray that they are at peace, and we ask for the same peace in our own hearts. A reading from St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Do not grieve like those of you who have no hope. We believe that Jesus died and rose again, and that it will be the same for those who have died in Jesus. God will bring them with him. This is the word of the Lord. Reflection. Death is another step. Death is another step along life's changing way. No more than just a gateway to a new and better day. And parting from our loved ones is much easier to bear. When we know they are waiting for us to join them there. So death is just a natural thing like the closing of a door as we part upon a journey to a new and distant shore. And no one need make this journey undirected or alone, for God promised us safe passage to the vast and great unknown. So let your grief be softened, and yield not to despair. You have only placed your loved one in the loving Father's care. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to remember those from our family and friends who have gone before us. We pray in a special way for all those who have lost loved ones during the pandemic and sadly were not able to fully grieve with their community. We ask you to grant them courage and strength during this time. Lord, we trust in your love for all people and pray that each of those we have remembered will always be in your loving presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.